So the biggest driver in profitability on the property is the rents. And as you can drive rents, that's gonna be the driver of the financial performance on the property. And to determine the rents that we charge on the property, we use a tool called Rentometer. So Rental Meter helps us determine what rents we can charge on the property. And as we know what rents we can charge on the property, it helps us to determine the profitability of the property. It allows us to compare where we can go and what we're currently charging now. It's a second form of validation, right? It's a second form of confirming that what we're char currently charging at the property we can now charge $100 more and still get it because our, our neighboring properties are charging that already. We also want to consider how many units we're going to renovate. And the reason why we want to consider that is because there's a duration that it's going to take to renovate those units. And then also we want to confirm that the market can withhold that new inventory. Like when people come and rent, is there a market for it? Will they want to rent that product? Yeah, absolutely. So when we're getting to rent rentometer, um, there's a link that you can just follow right here, right? So um, if you do use our link, there's uh, there are some deals available. Um, you know, you can save a little bit uh, by using our link and these codes. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, but Rentometer uses, you know, one of, the, one of the real benefits of Rentometer versus, you know, other sources, right? You can, you can go out and look at, you know, what various properties have as the asking rents, um, but that's not, that's not the actual lease values, right? So there could be a definite variance between what people are asking on their website or if you were to call them up and then what the actual lease values are yeah, for, the, you know, people actually signing the leases. And that's what that's the data that rentometer, rentometer uses is the actual lease values, not the advertised lease prices. Um, so what it does is it goes in and it's, it scans all the lease values in a selected area um, so that you can get your good comparable prices for the property you're looking at, right? Typically it's gonna be you know, a two, three, four mile radius around your property. It's gonna go out there and look at all the other properties available. Um, you're gonna be able to drill down by unit type, unit size, uh, and kind of get a really good comparison of, of what's in the area. So when you do go to Rentometer and you're gonna have to make a screen name, um, but after that, you're gonna be able to search uh, in the address search, right? And there's four different ways to search. You can search by the actual address. Um, you're gonna search by uh, the neighborhood. You can search by the zip code or the city in general, right? I always like to do the address search because it's gonna be the most direct, most targeted search right around your property, um, wherever your property happens to be, right? So um, enter your address in that address search button. And then you're gonna select, if you want a specific rent level, you can target a certain rent level, but I usually leave that field blank because I want, I want the search to tell me what the rents are for the area, right? Um, then you specify how many beds and baths your unit that you're looking at has, right? So if I'm analyzing a property, I start with, you know, maybe the, the single the single bed, single bath units, and then eventually I'll, I'll run a scan for that. And then I'll run a scan for uh, the, the two bed, two, two bathroom units, right? I'll run a different scan and, and look for comparables for each unit type of the property I'm looking at, right? So here's where you can um, select that data. Then you wanna pick you know, your max age, right? How far back do you want to go? Do you want to go back three months, four months, 12 months, 24 months, right? Um, you know, m the more that you can get from the current period is obviously a better representation of, um, you know, what the current market rate level is. Then you have your search rate is how far around your property do you want to go, right? Do you want to just go one mile around your property, two miles, three miles? Uh, how far out do you want to look when looking for comparable rents? And then building type, right? So, uh, we want multifamily apartment complexes, right? So you can you can filter out, you know, some of your you know just general houses and stuff like that. Um, report branding is is typically just rent rentometer. Um, 
there's not, you don't really have to go in and, and select different values there. I always just leave it just for rentometer. Uh, I don't even believe there's usually any other choices either. So once you've filled out that information, you click on analyze address and it'll start to pull up the results. So once you do click that, then it looks a little something like this. It'll give you some high level averages. And uh, I believe you're able to access this um, just with a, a basic user account. Um, but the real value is actually gonna be in the pro report, right? So you can only click that after you've made an account and signed up. Um, but that is what's gonna give you uh, kind of the, the more detailed picture, right? So this is gonna show you, this is the pro report now. It's gonna show you the immediate trends in the area. Um, it's gonna show you kind of your past uh, a couple of years worth of performance and how rents have going up or down or sideways in that area. It's gonna show your averages by unit type. And it's gonna show you some statistics and you got your median, your average, your, 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 your standard deviations. There's a lot of information about the rent distributions of the area, right? Um, that's, that's all good information, but my, my favorite piece is, is kind of right down below here. This is where you see your actual rented values, right? So your actual leased values that I was talking about, this is where they come through and you can see which properties they go to and you can really do a good comparison here. So you can see um, for this property, right? Um, the distance from your target property is about a mile. Uh, the rent is about $877, it's 800 square feet. You got a dollar per square foot. You can look at the beds and baths just to make sure it's a really good comparison with your unit. And then you've got some links here, right? So you can click and get some property details. You can do a Google street view on that property. And then you can just do a Google search and pick and pick up some, uh, some pictures most likely of what that property looks like. So this is where I find that I get the most value right here is, is from these lists and the, this data set. Um, this really starts to get you into what are the actual current rents for a market. And this information here, will you then be fed into your, um, your deal analysis property comps tab? And you'll use that information for your comps. Yeah, this is where I find most of my good comps is using this method right here. And you can feed that, like Oliver said, directly into your template, right? That's how you start to fill out that section. So this is a good resource.